<laughs> Before we get into the video, I want to make something very clear. I don't want you guys to think that I support JK Rowling or any of the comments that she has ever made or any of what she stands for. I do not support it at all. I think it's very disgusting and I don't want anyone to think that me doing a movie commentary on the movies based off of her books is me supporting her. That's not at all what I've ever wanted to stand for and that I will never stand for. The organization that I'm attaching to this is TENT. TENT is the Transgender Education Network of Texas. On the site it says, here at TENT we are ashamed that the state of Texas fails to give equality to our transgender siblings. We are tired of seeing anti-trans and anti-LGBT rhetoric spring up legislative session after session and want to see our state legislature stop wasting our time and money on discrimination. With this postcard we are urging Texans to call on their legislators to not only vote against against any and all anti-LGBT legislation, but vote for proactive policy that recognizes the humanity and equality of transgender Texans. As a state, we should know by now anti-trans legislation is a no-win issue. It hurts our neighbors, friends, and family, as well as damage and tarnishes our state's name and reputation. I will have a link to Tent in the description box down below, and I encourage you very much to donate right now. Um, hopefully my fundraiser thing works on YouTube and that it's easy access for you guys to donate to. If this video is monetized by me, I will be donating all the proceeds made from this video to Tent. Um, most likely if you see an ad on this video, it is monetized by Warner Brothers because Warner Brothers will most likely claim this video. So I won't be placing the ads and I won't be receiving the profits from the monetization, Warner Brothers will. Please donate and please share so more people know about this. And without further ado, let's get started. At this point, I don't remember what is Harry Potter the movies versus what is Harry Potter the Lego Wii game. Like, I have a very hard time differentiating the two. Like, and I don't know why, but like, I forget if like the wacky bits that were in the Wii game were actually in Harry Potter. I would beat the fuck out of Dumbledore if I had the chance to. Like, and I'm not even kidding. Like, I don't know why, but like, I feel like he's not that great of a guy as people make him out to be. Just because he has a really long beard doesn't mean he's a great guy. And I'll stand by that statement. I don't really care who disagrees. I'll, I'll die on that hill. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. To this, listen to what my, remember what McGonagall says right here, because I'm going to talk about it later. But remember what she said. She says they're the worst muggles imaginable. So the worst muggles imaginable. I do hate this scene because there's some stuff that he looks at that looks like normal things and he goes like, ooh, ah, and it doesn't look any different from non-wizard things. Like look at his fucking face. He's like gasping and he doesn't know what that is. He just thinks it's a, a fucking broom that's on display. Nimbus 2000, oh my god. Like, don't even try to front, bitch. I know you don't know what the fuck that is. Gave you that scar. And who owned that wand? We do not speak his name. That's gotta be the corniest thing they ever do in the Harry Potter universe, is not saying Voldemort's name. Like, don't be a bitch. It's so embarrassing to say you know who. It is kind of dark times. Like, okay, like I am kind of making fun of them for not saying his name, but Deadass had only happened like 11 years ago. Like that's like actually not that long of a time. Like that's not that long ago. Like they literally experienced all this trauma like 10 years ago. And I'm like, get over it. Just say it. Actually just say it. Like it's not that big of a deal. Like I actually like, happened like 100 years ago. Like no, it happened literally 10 years ago. <laughs> this level on Lego Harry Potter Wii is actually a nightmare. Like it's, it's actually hard. Like, I remember, like, it's so messy. Like, it's, it's, you have to, like, hit the troll with, like, bricks and shit, and then you gotta, like, hit him and then distract him and then, like, fucking do a spell. Like, it's, like, a lot. Like, but there's no, like, secret, like, 
medals in this level. I remember that. There's no like hidden gems to get. Imagine if he just started screaming like, "Who are you? Who are you? Why is there someone behind me?" Like he was just like so scared of them. He's like, "Like who are these strangers? Like get away from me! Like who the hell are you? No, actually, like who are you?" You understand, right, Harry? Once I, I make, make my move, move the your queen will, will take me. me. Then, then you're free to check, check the king. king. No. Run, no! no. What, what is, is it? it? He's, He's going, going to, to sacrifice himself. himself. No, no, you can't! That there must be another way! way. Do, you Do you want to stop, stop Snake, Snake from getting that stone or not? It's you that has to go on. I know it. Not me. Not Hermione. You. But why is this bitch the only one on it? And he get he not he literally falls like two like they act like he's dying. Like he acts like he's literally sacrificing himself like his whole life. He's putting his whole life on the line for this and he falls like two feet. <laughs> the scream. The scream was insane. Run! Run! That bloody scream he just like the bloody murder scream he just let out. <laughs> Next to him, who would suspect? B -b 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 stuttering Professor Quirrell. So he faked a he faked a stutter like Tina from Glee, and that's like kind of really fucked up, like faking a speech impediment. That's actually so stupid. <laughs> like that's actually so not okay. He's just like Tina from Glee. The Voldemort can never come back. Oh, I'm afraid there are ways in which he can return. You need to stop telling this a literal 11 year old boy that he can come back because he knows that Voldemort just wants to kill him and you know Voldemort just wants to kill him. So why are you telling this little boy who shouldn't have to deal with any of that fear that he can come back? You guys are actually dumb. Ew! Yo, I'm not even on the train that Dobby's cute. Dobby's ugly, and I don't care what you say about that because he's actually insane. If you have a hairless cat, if you have a hairless cat and you name him Dobby, you're a cunt. Oh, I don't know why, but if you do that to your cat, if you do that to your hairless cat and you name them, you name them fucking Dobby, you're a cunt. And I don't trust you. Like, I don't know why you would do that to your cat. Name him anything else. Name him, name him fucking ham or something i don't care but don't name him dobby that's so rude that was an awful thing to say dobby is the intrusive thoughts dobby is when the intrusive thoughts win like for real but it, like he is literally when the intrusive thoughts win and i can't explain it any better than that so. Lockhart is British. Uh, Make way there, please. Think, think about head. this. Thank think you. about Excuse this. Lockhart girl. is, is this daily British Harry Styles. And I stand by that. I don't like he's literally he's literally just Harry Styles. He's Harry Styles and you guys are just too afraid to say it. You're just too afraid to say it. Everyone's scared to say say the truth and I'm not. I'm not scared of anyone. I'm not scared of the the hot the Harry Potter stance and I'm not scared of Harry Styles stance either. I'm speaking my truth and no one can stop me. This is what freedom of speech was meant for. Not anything else but for me to say this one thing. Ew! What? Uh, look at those little Smurfs. Cornish pixies. Cornish, Cornish pixies. More like horny pixies. They literally are kind of like horny pixies. By the way, this is the most difficult. Okay, it's not the most difficult, but it is a pain in the ass to do in the Wii game. Like it actually is, because they're so tiny, and you have to point your controller to like freeze them, and it's actually so annoying. And they only freeze for a certain amount of time, so you have to like freeze one, freeze the other, and. And then by the time you get to the last one, the other one's not frozen anymore. And it's actually, it's actually sinister how hard it is. Like, it's just so annoying. Like, the, the, these horny pixies are very hard to catch. And that is actually, that special that she does is actually really hard. Because you can't do it all at once. You have to do them individually. And it's evil. It's demonic. I hate the horny pixies. I hate the horny pixies even though I am a horny pixie.
Would you guys have sex with Snape? Be honest. Be honest. Don't play with me right now. Don't try to act. Don't try to say face because I want to know for real. Would you or would you not have sex with Snape? Quickly. Because I would. Do you think he's all right? Who cares? I'm with the cape on. Cape that, stays Professor on Snape, during sex with Snape, and I'm not it kidding. It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrobe's robes. Oh my god, she looks insane. Look at my face. I love the Cats movie. Like, she kind of looks like Taylor Swift in the Cats movie. Why don't we talk about that? Why don't more people talk about how Taylor Swift was actually in the Cats movie? Like, we got, we let her get away with that. And I don't think we should let her get away with that. Like, out of everything she's done, I think we should, like, literally, like, find everyone who, we should, we need to find everyone who participated in the Cats movie. Out of all people to make super fine, out of all people to make fine in this fucking franchise, they decide to make Tom Riddle fine as fuck. Are you Tom Riddle? Like, how embarrassing is it to grow up and say that me? one of my crushes is Tom fucking Riddle? Fucking Voldemort. Like, dude, out of everyone you could have made fine, you made Tom Riddle fine. You're so annoying for that. Like, it's actually so annoying, and it's not okay, and I won't stand for it. Like, it's actually so upsetting. All students will return to their house common rooms by six o'clock. Lost your touch. You're up with all these attacks. Guys, make sure you check out Kennedy Walsh's merch line. Guys, make sure you check out Kennedy Walsh's or the Walsh's clothing line moods because you can be matching with me and we can have moods, sweat, sets. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. Like, I love it because they just could have closed the door. So. Like, if they, if literally just one person closed the door, she wouldn't have, like, literally flown away into space. Like, exiled through the country. Like, I love that because, like, they could have just, they could have literally just closed the door. You're not allowed to do magic outside school? Yeah. Try me. Try me. Avada Kedavra. Imagine if he just killed them right there. I literally wish Harry killed... I literally wish Harry killed all these bitches. I literally, w I literally wish he just went, oh, try me, Avada Kedavra, and he just like killed them. That's actually insane. I'm just saying this right now. If you have the Harry Potter Magic Bus Lego set, I want to have sex with you right now because I think that Lego set is so goddamn cool. It's literally so nice. It's literally like, I, I just wish, I, like I would literally, like if you pulled that out, I would be like, I want to have sex with you right now. Like you'd look at me, you'd be like, why are your clothes off? Like I think it is the coolest Lego set ever. Like granted, I did have the Hogwarts Harry Potter Lego set. Like I was that bitch. I'm not even going to lie. But if you had the the bus, this purple ass bus, I, I just, loved it so much and I wish I had it looking forward to a new term yeah it should be great Sirius Black is kind of just like me <coughs> like we kind of look alike Loki I kind of want to be sucked by a Dementor listen listen I'm not I just want to know what it would feel like like I want to know what it would feel like to be like have the life actually sucked out of me by a Dementor. Like, give me the good old suck. Because I want to feel it. Like, doesn't that look like it would kind of feel nice? Like, kind of like a detox. You know what I mean? A woman. No one was screaming, Harry. They constantly try to, like, gaslight Harry throughout this entire movie. They're like, there was no one screaming, Harry. Like, you're hearing voices. I don't even think hearing voices as a wizard is good. It's not a good sign. Like, you're actually insane. Let boys be boys. That's what I've always said. Boys will be boys and girls will be girls. Let girls have gay sex and let boys be boys and eat jelly beans. Load of rubbish. Where did you come from? <coughs> Me? Been here all this time. You- No. Okay. Hermione gaslights them through the entire fucking movie. Like, let's talk about that. She gaslights them. The, the She gaslights the fuck out of them through the entire movie with this time travel shit. And it's actually so annoying. And it's so frustrating. Like, we'll get into the time travel discourse because I have so much to say about it because it actually makes my blood fucking boil throughout this movie. Like, I love this movie with my entire heart. Like, I, it's my favorite movie ever. Like, I literally watch it all the time. But this time travel shit, like, actually makes me, like, 
physically angry like it actually makes me angry and the fact that Hermione throughout this entire movie is like what I've been here the whole time like you're crazy no like I've literally been here the entire time like she gaslights them throughout the entire movie and it's actually Shocking. demonic it's sinister her behavior in this movie but I love her you have to be in two classes at once don't be silly models how could anyone be in two classes at once no, she's actually so evil for that. <laughs> she's actually kind of evil for that because she's just like, don't be silly. Like, like it can never happen. How could you be at two classes at once? And she's literally like, that's actually, <laughs> that's sinister. Like, I don't get it. Like, I think that's actually so mean. And the fact that like McGonagall gives her the time turn at the beginning of the year, McGonagall gives her the time turner in the beginning of the year just so she can take more classes at once. That's going to be the worst fucking usage of the time turner in the whole fucking, like the fact that that's the reason why she has it is so gosh darn stupid. That's the reason why she has it. Not for anything serious other than to take multiple classes at one time. That's so fucking stupid. That's actually so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god, people love using that shot in edits. Like people eat that shot up right there and they like they're like flirting with Draco Malfoy. Like they do their little like POVs like you're flirting with Malfoy and PE. It's kind of cute, though. I'm not even going to lie. It's kind of cute. I love it when people, like, you do little POVs with, like, movie scenes. Like, I think it's kind of cute. No, because that's actually so wonderful. Ridiculous! That's actually so brilliant that it turned into the moon. Like, I don't know why. Like, I know it's pretty obvious now. Like, that was, like, pretty, like, an obvious tell. But I still think it's so gosh darn brilliant. Only a parent or a guardian can sign. Since I am neither, it would be inappropriate. No, Mrs. McGonagall, you're actually a piece of shit. Like, literally, you're actually a piece of shit because you know, you know, right when, why, like, she literally went... She, when she dropped Harry off, she said, I've been watching these muggles all day. They're the most awful muggles known to mankind. Like, they're actually so horrible. They know he has an abusive household. They know his guardians right now would never sign that shit. So why is she like, that's my final word. Bitch is an orphan in an abusive household. Professor, can I You're so stupid. But for now, let him sleep. For in dreams, we enter a world that's entirely our own. Dumbledore knows damn well he's not asleep. In the deepest ocean. And that's the sneakiest thing about Dumbledore, is that he's actually a lying piece of shit. <laughs> that's the sneakiest thing about Dumbledore, is that he's actually a lying piece of shit. And I'm going to smack the fuck out of him, because all he does is lie throughout these movies. Like, he knows what, what the fuck is going on, and he didn't say anything. As an antidote to your ignorance, and on my desk... That was romantic. Morning, and no matter what happens in the movies, you'll always have that scene. You'll always have that scene which is so romantic no matter what way you try to spin it Malfoy literally sending a little lovebird note to Harry will always be romantic it'll never be anything else but romantic mm -mm. Mm -mm. that that's code for I want to have sex with you there Oh my god. I am waiting for the Hagrid sex scene. I have literally been saying this since day one. Where is the Hagrid sex scene that we deserve? We get to see his thighs in this scene, and I want to see more. I want to see more of Hagrid's body. I need to see it in my life. Is there Hagrid fanfiction? I'm looking it up right now, Hagrid fanfiction. Hagrid and Dumbledore having you know what. Hagrid is awoken up in the middle of the night by a mysterious rattling of his window. An owl carrying a strange note brings him a message which Hagrid must tell Dumbledore about. Smut ensues. <gasps> we need to have a full episode reading Hagrid Smut. It needs to happen now. Like right now. Strutting about the castle. My dad didn't strut. <laughs> My dad didn't strut. He slayed. <laughs> My dad didn't just strut. He slayed. The guestification of James Potter is here today. I want to see James Potter slay. <laughs> the aesthetic of this movie is like no other. Hermione, the, the wardrobe, Hermione's pink sweater, her pink hoodie, Harry's blue shirt, Ron's like orange red sweater. Like it, 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 oh, it literally looks so good together. Like they, they are serving they're serving <laughs> they're serving in this movie with the pumpkins like oh it gives such good vibes it gives such great comforting energy and i love it so much and none of the words i just said were in the bible think about that oh my god <laughs> oh my god 
<laughs> Why is he gonna... Oh my god, he looks insane. Oh my god. He is so stinky. That's the most terrifying about terrifying part about this is that I know he's stinky. I trusted you! And all this time you bit his friend! No, cuz friend. 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 Oh my god, they seem like great friends as they're like literally having sex. So. Peter Pettigrew is actually a cuck. Like, I know he's a cuck for Remus and Lupin. Like, he actually- Oh, Remus and Lupin. Remus and Sirius. Like, he's actually a cuck for them. Ew! Ew. Ew. The frames in between that is actually, like, so demonic and sinister, and I don't like it. And I'm actually gonna kill myself because I think that the transformation scenes in any, any, any film ever, transformation scenes are actually so cursed. And it makes me kind of want to die. Ew! Ew! Look at his small, tiny head. Looks like shit. I find retracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. Pause it right there. I, I love it and I despise it because I think it's like so brilliant, but then it begs the question, they never use it again. And like, that's what everyone always says with time travel. They, they, int they implement it in their storylines and then they fuck it up because they don't use it again. And I wish... I wish we got to see them use the time turner like maybe a few more times. Like just a few more times when things were like hella serious. And maybe they do in the book and maybe they explain it really well in the book why she can't use it often. But in the movies, I wish they did. I wish they explained it a little bit more. No, cause this is actually so fucking cool. No, like it's actually really, really, really cool. Meanwhile, I'd like a nice cup of tea or a large brandy oh, no yeah totally dumbledore and hagrid are fucking and i know it and and after that fan fiction like i'm like fully convinced like they're they're raw dogging it and that's okay and i know if if if, if jk rowling heard me say that hagrid and dumbledore are gunkles she would literally have my head cut off like she would literally be she would literally be so upset by everything i'm saying right now and especially that especially that she would actually be so upset I hope she I hope she sees this. This really is the best movie I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen a better movie than this just because it's so brilliant and wonderful and creative and comforting at the same time. It it has the juxtaposition of the simplicity with the complexity and the contrast and it has the aesthetic uh, under like the aesthetic the and you know the what the and yeah. Let me see that Dementor give a good old suck. Let me give it, let me, let me, let me, let me have at it. <laughs> let me have at that good old Dementor suck. Patronum! Off with the Dementor suck. No Dementor suck today. No, no, no. I bat you off like flies. I bat, 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 bat. Get away! This movie is for real my guilty pleasure. I know everyone hates it, but I can't help but love it just because I watch it. I've probably watched Goblet of the Fire the most, which is saying something because like everyone's like, oh my god, Goblet of Fire is so bad. But I actually really like Goblet of Fire and it is my guilty pleasure through and through. I know they look absolutely crazy. Like, I don't know, you have the Triwizard Tournament, which is also really fun and fresh. And it kind of like, it, it gets a little bit like goofy for a second and then it gets really serious. And I love the duality and the complexity of it. The contrast and the juxtaposition is actually really good. Um, <laughs> Nick, at the ministry. And this strapping young lad must be Cedric, am I right? Yes, sir. Hold on tight, Spider Monkey. Where the hell have you uh, been, Loka? Me. Literally, Cedric Diggory, where the hell have you been? Where the hell have you been on my life, literally? Sexy motherfucker. I'm literally obsessed with Cedric Diggory. Like, I would. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Leave it to J.K. Rowling to bring two other schools to just be extreme gender roles of an all-girls school and an all-boys school. All-girls school walks in, it's a straight shot up their ass, and they're like moaning, and they're like they're like moving like this, and they're like, ah. and then the other school is an all-boys school, and they come in doing flips and grunting, and they're like, ah, ah. moaning and groaning. The two genders. Champion, there's my man there's my literal man right there you cutie patootie you literally look so fine you're so attractive you're literally so attractive and you deserve everything in the entire world and i love you so much no harry potter harry potter i would have loved it if harry went oh yeah oh yeah buddy it worked woohoo woohoo i did it in your face bitch
I would smack the fuck out of you, you old bitch. I need to stop. It's actually bad how much I don't like Dumbledore. I don't like anyone. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Here he comes, here he comes. He's so threatening. Harry! Harry! Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? The rules are absolute. But the fact that it's not. The Goblet of Fire constitutes a binding magical contract. But why? Why is this a magical binding contract of a, of a, a literal, like, it's, it's, you're picking a name. Why is it a magical binding contract? It's just wizard wipeout, if you think about it. It's not that serious, and I don't know why they're trying to make it seem like it's that serious. Cedric looks so goddamn cute. He looks like a, he, Cedric topic? is boyfriend material, and, like, but he literally just gives boyfriend thing. vibes throughout this entire movie. It's no you. wonder, like... <laughs> like I just want to like hug yeah, him. Do you see news? I just want to hug him. I okay. You know what? Even though, even though, even though I'm against the Cho Chang representation in this movie, and I feel like it, it set us back five years and it, it ruined my life particularly. Uh, but I would, I would love to be Cedric and Cho Chang for Halloween one year. I am against Cho Chang as a character, but I can do a mean Cho Chang impression. Oh hey. Oh hey. <gasps> Hey! Oh, hey! Oh. Watch yourself on the stairs. It's a bit icy at the top. It's a bit icy at the top. Watch yourself on the stairs. It's a bit icy at the top. Sorry, Sorry. I, I didn't catch that. Maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. I'm really sorry, Harry. Oh, um, uh, Harry, I'm, I'm sorry, but so, someone's already asked me, and I said yes. Well, I've, I've said I'll go. I've said I'll go. Good. Hey. Harry? Hi. I really, I really am. Sorry. sorry. I'm literally her, through and through. Like, I'm sorry, but I am. What I, Say what you want about me, but I can do a mean impression. Emma Watson has done this in three separate movies. In three separate movies, she has gotten dolled up in a dress and walked down the stairs as other characters watch her in awe. She's done it in three separate movies. In three separate universes, Emma Watson has done this. It is in her contract, no doubt. Let's talk about this as a scene in the Lego Harry Potter Wii game because it is actually really hard. And why I say that is because first of all, swimming in Lego Harry Potter Wii, very difficult. I don't know why you move so slow and it's infuriating. Um, crumbs, cr being crumb is not good in the game. He's not fun. He's just a shark head and he doesn't do anything for us. Um, Cause what were they gonna do if he didn't do that? Was was Fleur's sister really gonna die? <laughs> was Fleur's sister really gonna die if uh, if he didn't do that? What the hell? I want all the judges over here now. Leave it to Dumbledore to fucking cheat. <laughs> Leave it to Dumbledore to find a fucking loophole. Like he literally is. Like he did it from the first fucking movie. He was like hundred extra points for Gryffindor for bravery. Leave it to Dumbledore to fucking cheat. I hated that he does it so fast. Like, is actually brutal and actually quite disgusting that he does that. Like, I don't, like, it, it, it makes me so upset. But also, Baby Voldemort, I hate it. And it begs the question, when you look at Baby Voldemort, you ask yourself, do wizards get abortions? Do wizard abortions exist? The fact that he just threw Baby Voldemort into that pot, pot of soup, in a pot of soup, in a pot of soup, he threw Voldemort in it. It's kind of yesification Slay Queen though. <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of Slay Queen though when he like he has the robe, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of like Slay. <laughs> it's kind of like Slay. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously when I'm saying this stuff. Cedric Diggory dying is the same type of feeling as Gwen Stacy dying in the Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's the same feeling of like why the fuck would you just do that? Like, actually, why did you do that? Like, what was the reason? Like, that's how it feels, and it's so upsetting, actually. Oh. Ew, put the dogs away. Such a boy. Don't, don't touch, touch him with your dirty, stinky feet. Hey. <laughs> don't you dare touch him, dirty, stinky feet, Voldemort. I don't, 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 don't touch my cigarette degree with those, those friggin' claws. Don't touch him. That's to my boyfriend. <laughs> It's like a random muggle. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, who the fuck are you? Like, 
like I mean yeah we get I, I think we should like pay our respects but honestly who the fuck are you <laughs> like we want to see James and Lily we want to see James and Lily and Cedric who the fuck is this muggle that people don't there people are celebrating and they don't know that he's died is actually one of the most sinister things this is one of the most sinister things I've ever watched because it's just too sad it's really sad that's my boy that's my son I can't take it. It's literally one of the saddest things ever. Uh, that like scream like is too much. Like his dad literally screaming in the background is like too much. I can't. It's it's so sad. It's so sad, and it like makes me want to cry every single time. But I like, I can't right now. It's frustrating because it's like what what the fuck was the reason? That death was like uncalled for and. Uh, uh, it's so sad uh, guys um we're getting into the parts of the commentary where it might become a little bit more deranged now if we didn't already think that my previous commentaries on the movies were deranged this is about this is where and now we're getting into order of the phoenix which is an underrated fave of mine. It is an underrated fave of mine. It's not better than Half Blood Prince or Prison of Azkaban, but it is still pretty high in my opinion because I personally like the vibes of it. This scene, now this scene in Lego Harry Potter is where you can get, there's a lot of coins to be had. <laughs> a lot of coins to get in Lego Harry Potter, this opening scene of the Order of Phoenix. You get a lot of coins. It's like a coin hunt for real. Um, and it's really fun. You also get to switch between the professors, which is very fun because the professors have a lot more spells than Harry does. So I think this is one of the best opening scenes because you get, you enter five through six or five through seven. You go through five through seven in the Wii Harry Potter Lego game and you open up with this scene and you get to like get all these coins and you get to try out these new spells and see what they can do. It's very fun. It's very fun. Well, Fudge, Minister for Witness Life. for the defense, Albus Percival Wolfric. Brian Dumbledore. Damn, fucking five name ass. <laughs> five names, dude, pick one. Pick two, you get two at the most, one at the least. Not five though. Just because you're gay doesn't mean you get to have five names. And I'm sorry, I'll stand by that. <laughs> I'll stand by that right now. You can't have that many hyphens in your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> and last year, he really did fight off you know who in the flesh. Wait. Look, it all sounds great when you say it like that. He's like, guys, stop hyping me up, but do this more. He's like, stop, stop. Stop guys. Like I'm not that good. Like I'm really not that great. Like I'm like just I'm just a normal girl. Like, I'm I'm literally just like other girls. Like stop. St Hermione, stop. I'm being serious. Stop. Stop. Like it's not a big deal. Stop. When you're a second away from being murdered or watching a friend die right before your eyes. That cut to Cho Chang was absolutely evil. <laughs> the cut right to Cho Chang when that happened was actually evil. <laughs> oh my god, R.I.P. Cedric. Miss you, Cedric. Love you, Cedric. Uh, but are we about to fuck right now? Like, are we about to kiss right now? Like, right at this moment, are we about to kiss? Probably full of nargles, though. But R.I.P. What are nargles? R.I.P., brother. No, I Miss don't. you. Love you. I'm gonna kiss your ex. Damn, bunch of weirdos they are. They're pretty weird for that. <laughs> this was the last time they ever laughed. Legend has it that was the last time they ever laughed. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. I know it myself. There, this scene has pure crack in it. Like the fireworks song, fireworks theme is actually pure crack. Like it, it sounds so good, and it like it, it really does pack in that euphoria. It's packed full of euphoria and I'll never never take that for granted because this is one of the best scenes I've ever seen in my entire life and 
it produces so much serotonin when you watch it. It's actually proven by studies that it produces a a a a a a, a, a grand amount of serotonin in your body when you watch it every single time. I'm not even kidding. That's not even a joke. That's a for real fact. James. James can bully me any day. James can bully me any day, babes. He really can. Like, you can bully me if you want to. Like, pants me. <laughs> pants me, James. <laughs> no, James can really bully me any day he wants. Like, if he wants to, he can. Like, it's like, I'm okay with it. Like, come on, bully me. Do it. I need to stop. I should actually stop. <laughs> I should actually stop. It's enough. It's, it's... It's enough. <gasps> Get away from my godson. Ah! That's everything. That's actually wonderful. Get away from my godson. Mwah! That's my gunkle right there. Boom. 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 That's my gunkle. That's my gunkle. That's my gunkle. Nice ones, James. I. I'm not watching it. Do I, I don't have any obligation to watch it. She was a nasty bitch for that. She was actually a nasty bitch for that. How dare you kill my gay uncle? I hate to say it again, but me after a, a Cinemark hot dog for sure. I hate to say that again, but it is me. That little crouch is definitely me after a Cinemark hot dog. Me when I have tummy ache. <laughs> me when I have tummy ache. That's it. That's the. That's it. That's the movie. <laughs> They're like, oh shit. They're like, oh shit. He actually might be back. You. He's back. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you got me on that one. You did get me on that one. The hottest bitches out here love Half-Blood Prince because it is a really superior movie. It's dark, it's nitty, it's gritty, it's honestly kind of really sad, but I know all the hot people love it. Got a bit of toothpaste. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know, the energy in this movie uh, like I said, hot people love this movie, but also there's an energy throughout it which is really unsettling. Like, it was actually really hard to watch this movie as a child because I remember having so much secondhand embarrassment, but now I kind of like the feeling of secondhand embarrassment, so. I'm excited for it. It's probably the most dangerous potion in this room. <coughs> JK Rowling is actually a piece of shit. You realize after watching. You'll realize after watching the Harry Potters how extremely invested J.K. Rowling writes gender roles into it. Like, it's actually insane. Like, from Gobble to Fire to just, like, all the girls leaning into the love potion and only the girls seen as, like, fawning over the love potion. It's like, get a fucking grip. Guys, it's Harden. I want to see that little boy go, Fucking Trevor! That's literally Harden, and if only we knew the menace he would be on society, even as an adult, would we have stopped him when he was a child? We should have. For some reason, everyone in this scene has a very Polar Express energy to them. Like, they have a weird uncanny valley. Like, it's so close to being uncanny valley, you know? Like, everything in this scene is a bit too smooth, so it makes it look like Uncanny Valley for me. Like, it makes it look like Polar Express. And it's kind of scary. But it's ever so slightly just enough to where it doesn't hit that mark. I have always wanted to eat these fucking, like, uh, I don't even know what they are. They're like little donuts. They're like little balls of dough with, like, chocolate and, like yummy things on it and i and i want to eat it so freaking bad and i don't know what the fuck it is but it looks just like so much deliciousness in one little thing and i want it so bad it looks so delicious like it looks like it tastes so good but it's not too sweet and it's got a nice 
texture it looks like it has a really nice texture like they look like bonbons and i love that go together as friends why didn't i think of that she was in going with? hermione was I'm hermione Hermione was acting in like a silly goofy mood in this movie. This is the most serious movie. Like this is when the, the pitch, this movie is when the pitch really changes and everything kind of gets really serious, but it's also when love is like a super big topic. No, cause this is like actually painful. Like I kind of like the second hand embarrassment though I get. Open up you. Ew! Don't you trust Open me? up you. Ew! And he takes the most like, the tiniest bite ever. Like he doesn't trust her at all. Open up you. Don't you trust me? No, I don't. Merry Christmas. Do you think their awkwardness was what led to the house burning down? Like you can't be that awkward and expect them not to burn down the house. Draco has so much plot in this movie, yet so little lines. So much plot, yet it is the movie where he has the least lines. So much importance, yet no words spoken. <laughs> Harry is actually kind of nasty for what he does here. <laughs> He's actually kind of nasty for using the spell, that he has no idea what it does. He has no idea what the spell does, and yet he uses it. And genuinely, fucking terrifying. This is why I say Half-Blood Prince is teetering on horror. It's so very teetering on horror. That scene is terrifying. Like, where is he bleeding from? I promised you could accompany me and I stand by that promise. Now let me tell you about a difficult level. This level is so, so, so difficult. Don't try to attempt it on your own. Make sure you're on two player because this shit is actually hard. The little mermaids, little demons in the water, so hard to fight off. You move so freaking slow because you have the cup of water in your hands and it is so goddamn difficult to get the water to Dumbledore and fight off those things. It's actually so difficult. Don't try to attempt this with one player. You have to have two players. I'm gonna say this, this potion looks delicious. With, I wish I could drink it with that shell because it actually looks so freaking yummy. It looks like such good soup. Even though it like actually puts him through the most pain ever, like it looks so good. Like in that shell, like drinking it from that shell, like I wanna, I wanna drink it so bad. Okay, Dumbledore's kinda cute. I kind of take back everything I said in the past commentaries. He's kind of cute. It's kind of like a cute old man. The little like that he did, and then he went water. That was kind of cute. Dang, he's kind of a cute old man. What the hell? Please. This was the deal they made. I'm they made this deal me. like literally from the first movie. Like, <laughs> like he's like, please. He's like, gives him a little wink. He's like, please don't kill me. Please, Severus, don't kill me. Please. Like, I know, like, please. Dude, he already knew. He already knew. Why am I gonna cry? <laughs> Why am I like, gonna cry? Like, this is actually so sad. Why they got me like almost crying in like three movies straight? Like, you're actually such a bitch for that. I don't really like Dumbledore that much, but damn. The relationship you build with him in Half-Blood Prince really does, really does create a loss when he dies. I'm just saying. I think we can all agree that Deathly Hallows Part 1 is the worst one. Like the worst movie in general. And why I say that is because First of all, it's kind of bad, and second of all, it doesn't have any nostalgia that the first movies do. And by that, I mean, like, Sorcerer's Stone and stuff. Like, they're, at least, like, the first movie is like, okay, yeah, yeah, like, the plot may not be, like, the best thing in the entire world, but, like, at least there's cute babies in it. Your ministry remains strong. Liar. You're such a freaking big fat liar. Like, you're such a big fat liar. When the sky is actually, like, doo-doo gray, I know you're freaking lying. Like, not even the sky is making me believe that there's nothing wrong happening. My lord. Lucy says time 
to touch up his roots and tone his hair, but he doesn't have enough time to shave his five o'clock shadow. That's an issue. Oh my God! Weasley. Oh, about time, me. man. He, he was in About him. Time. Yeah, he was in Black Mirror. True enough. I love that man. Oh. Yeah, he's 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 like best actor of all time, right? This is the most haunting scene of them all. I do love how they mix with the height difference, though. Mundungus grows. Fred and George shrink. Ew! It actually is so disgusting watching their faces transform. And I think Hermione's might be the most cursed frame. Really. I think it is actually so horrifying. No! No! I... It's... It's not okay. Because, honestly, Hedwig was such a, a ruthless kill for no goddamn reason. For no goddamn reason, they kill Hedwig. Can I not have anything? Can I really not have anything in this universe? Because it's actually, like... Hedwig... The owl! You're gonna kill the owl too on top of all this? Fuck you. It's honestly pointless and I hate it so much. And it makes me kind of want to die. Especially just because recently I suffered a big loss of my own, of my own personal pet. And it just kind of brings back bad memories. So thanks a lot, bitch. What gave you away? Hedwig, I think. She was trying to protect me. I'm sorry, she was trying to protect. <laughs> no, stop. You're the best of spells. That was weird. I mean, if someone I like did that to me, I would be like, my heart would flutter, but seeing it unfold in front of me, it, it doesn't give the best, uh, energy to portray that wrong you don't have a wife this is like a quirky episode of like a show you know like the body switch episode of a show where it's like kind of kooky and kind of wild that's what it's kind of giving it's not really giving a full movie it's giving the body switch episode but it it really does bother me why Okay, it bothers me that, like, this whole thing all kind of ties back to discrimination and they're all analogies for it, yet J.K. Rowling herself is a discriminatory piece of shit. It's like, you want to talk about the unfairness in the movie and use allegories and say mudblood, but then when it comes to discrimination in real life, you couldn't give a fuck less. So it's just like, that's why I don't believe that J.K. Rowling actually r wrote Harry Potter. Like, I think she definitely like, either ghost wrote it or plagiarized it. That's actually so not okay. This is what I'm saying. Deathly Hallows is a horror movie. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Deathly Hallows, half Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. Like, this is what I'm saying. Deathly Hallows and half Blood Prince are horror movies. Like, slightly. Like, slightly, like, teetering on horror. Because some of the stuff that we see, the imagery is kind of unsettling. Ron got splinched. It's literally healing right now. He's fine. I don't know why he's making such a big deal out of it. And I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of it. Now I'm just playing. Now I'm just playing. You know me. Dumbledore sends you off to find all these Horcruxes, but doesn't tell you how to destroy them. Of course it bothers me. But what the fuck else are we going to do? Ask him? He's fucking dead, isn't he? Isn't he? He's fucking dead as can be. It bothers me a lot, but there's nothing else to do. I just thought, after all this time, we would have actually achieved something. That's literally me watching this movie. I thought after all this time, something would happen in the movie. <laughs> I understand Harry and Hermione Shippers from this movie and this movie only. Never saw it before. Never, never thought of it before. And then this movie came along and it changed me for life. Granted, as soon as I watch the next movie, as soon as I tune into the old movies, I, I don't feel it. This is when the intrusive thoughts went. Ew! No, because it's actually so nasty. Like, and I don't know why, because, like, I'm usually not one to cringe at sex scenes, but, like, this is actually so uncomfortable to watch. And this is why I don't watch this movie with anyone else. Because it makes me, like, it makes the inside of my body clench like a foil ball. I hate it. I can't imagine watching that in theaters with people. That would have made me want to die. It already makes me want to die, and I didn't watch it in theaters with people. 
This movie could have just been this scene and it would have been perfect by itself. Because this scene is actually the best thing ever. I don't know. I love the illustrations. I love how it's told and i don't know it just looks so spooky (laughs) it just looks so spooky and i love it um and this movie could have just been this scene and i would have been okay with that probably would have made it better i feel like some white people kind of look like dobby with those eyes take that take that take that how you will love that little elf like at this point i hate all the harry potter movies like guys i started this day it took me an hour to work up the courage to film because i was crying because i did not want to film because i felt so depressed that and i couldn't think of making silly little jokes about harry potter like what better thing to watch when you're in an extreme episode harry potter fuck no That seems like the worst, it is the worst thing to watch when you're in an episode. It is. This is the one where we get a full great shot of the baby Voldemort. And it does beg the question again, do wizards get abortions, yes or no? I think we let Snape go. We let Snape have a pass too easily just because he loved Lily. Mr. Potter's movements this season. Snape has a blowout. He has eyeshadow and a new robe. Maybe if you did this, you would, maybe if you did this a little earlier when Lily was in town, maybe, maybe, maybe she would have liked you back. It seems despite your exhaustive defensive strategies, you still have a bit of a security. Oh, I'm pulling up with my whole crew of gingers. (laughs) There's a lot of redheads in the crew. Why is my butthole clenching? Like, why am I kind of clenching my butt right now? Because I'm kind of nervous. They're kind of cute. Wait, Ginny's kind of so cute, actually. She's actually cuter than everyone else. Do him. Do him? Do him? What do you mean, do him? Dang, he was really about to kill his ass. Oh my god. <laughs> girlfriend already. Girlfriend. We're already in the girlfriend stage. My lord. Slit. See, my thing is, you have spells for days and you chose to slit his throat? Nagini. Kill. That's not okay. See, why was this scene, like, really brutal? It shouldn't be this brutal. You have spells. This whole world it revolves around spells, and you choose to do some really graphic deaths that are not very necessary. That's... Okay, I was a big Snape hater throughout this entire thing, but now I'm kind of getting sad. So I'm such a bitch and a hypocrite, and I'm a horrible person. Ah, fuck it. Ah, Snape, you're one good of... You're one hell of a dog. I love you. I love you. Join me in the forbidden forest and confront your fate. It kind of sounds like Voldemort is calling up Harry for a booty call. Like, meet me in the forbidden forest to meet your ultimate fate. Hide them all. I beg you. What will you give me in exchange, Severus? <laughs> Dumbledore was kind of fucked up because he was like, well, what are you going to give me, Severus? What you going to give me, girl, if I save your precious little Lily? That was fucked up. Brian. That was fucked up, Brian. I'm telling you. The boy survives. This is a need protection. The Dark Lord is gone. The Dark Lord will return if you truly loved her. Dumbledore is kind of manipulative as fuck. <laughs> if you truly loved her, you would do this full-time job, babes. You would double you would double dutch cross this bitch. You would play both teams if you truly loved her. Dumbledore is kind of mean. You must be the one to kill me, Severus. It is the only way. Dumbledore set him up. He knew what would happen because he knew he Dumbledore it actually is a freak because he set he set Snape up to get killed because he he knew that Voldemort would run that wand and if he knew if Snape killed him that the only true owner would would be Snape. So Dumbledore set him up. 
I am so invested in this. Like, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Like, I've already seen this movie, and I am, like, really invested in this. Like, it's, like, it's such a big twist, though. When you watched it, when you watched it for the first time, it was like, oh, my God. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Dumbledore is actually the real villain of the movie, if you actually think about it. Team Snape all the way. I'm switching sides. I've been switching sides every movie in this in these commentaries, and I think I'm going to land on Snape. I know he must feel really bad. <laughs> I know he must feel really bad, because I would feel like shit. But to be fair, they did that on purpose. They were tricking him on purpose. I hate to break up the mood, but I know it's so stinky right there. Like, I know they stink. Like, I don't even remember the last time they took a shower. Like, you know the bathrooms got destroyed. If, like, the whole castle got destroyed, I know those bathrooms were tearing up. And there's, like, dead body stench everywhere. Like, I know it's so stinky in that castle. Ew. That's actually so nasty. I'm so sorry for breaking up the mood like that. I shouldn't have said that. This is what it's like sitting next to me in a theater. Like, imagine I lean over and whisper into your ear. I go, imagine how stinky it is in there. And then I stick my hand into your popcorn and I take one kernel. Disgusting. Professor, what is that? Something beyond either of our hopes. He said trash. That is trash. We leave trash in the past. No need to lash. Just time to bash. Let's finish this the way we started. Together. I wish they kissed. <laughs> they kind of do. They kind of like do more than kiss. They do a lot more than kiss because they are literally like one with each other. Like in a way that's like very unsettling. That's what happens when you're old as fuck. That's what happens when you're old as fuck. You die. Like I know it just like freaking burns. Let me do a line. <laughs> I won't say. I was going to say, let me do a line of Voldemort. That sounds like, that sounds like a real drug. Let me do a line of Voldemort right now. That sounds like a real drug. Stop. I did not say that. Look how happy he is. Good for him. I do think that's the stupidest thing he could have done. And it doesn't make sense why the most powerful one in the world could be snapped like that. Because if it could be snapped like that, I know damn well it, it fucking would have been snapped all these years. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. If it's the most powerful wand in the world, why can it be snapped with little grimy potter hands? They're kind of cute. I switched opinions throughout this whole video like no other. Like, I was actually lying the entire time. And who knows if I'm lying right now? You don't know anything about me. You don't know anything about me and I could be lying this entire time. And maybe I am. Maybe everything I told you in this video was a lie. And who cares if it is? They did a lot with this movie. They did a lot with this movie. They be they created one of the most iconic battles of all time. They changed cinema and story forever with this movie. But... This is the worst scene I've ever seen in my entire life. It is absolutely awful. It's absolutely awful. It makes me want to die. First of all, they age them horribly. The, the way they make all of them look older, 19 years later, is actually a crime. They did a lot with this movie, but they couldn't age them to look even a slightest bit better. Like, what did they do to Jenny? Why did they make Jenny look like that? They do such magnificent things in the movie, and then they end you with that, like, shit show. And I hate it, and I don't like it, David Yates and I don't appreciate it. Today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Now, if you're not already using ExpressVPN, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but I'll tell you anyways a little bit about ExpressVPN. I've been using ExpressVPN for a long time now. I've actually used it before I even started working with ExpressVPN. I found them through Curtis Connor. Now, we can all agree that if someone was logging every single thing you did in the day, that'd be pretty creepy. So why are you letting your internet provider do that to you? Internet providers log every single step you take on the internet, and with that, they can also sell your browsing activity to third-party advertisers. One of the main things that I use ExpressVPN for is 
content. I love watching a bunch of content. I need so much content for my channel and some content that I want to watch is not available in the USA where I live. So with ExpressVPN, with a single click of a button, you can change which country you're in and watch tons of different content from other countries. This works on Netflix. This works on YouTube. So if you go on YouTube and you see that little pesky thing that says not available in your region, just switch that country and there you go. It's as easy as that. The other day I wanted to watch the live action Cinderella with Lily James and it wasn't available on Disney Plus in the USA. So I switched it to the UK and there you go. I get to experience Lily James, Richard Madden, Cinderella. What more can you ask for? Using the internet without ExpressVPN is just a general risk that I don't think is worth taking and overall I just feel safer. I feel better using ExpressVPN when I'm using the internet. Whether I'm using the internet at my home, especially when I'm using the internet out in public. ExpressVPN has been my go-to for years and I love using ExpressVPN so much and I very much encourage you guys to do the same. And you guys can find out how you can get three months of free ExpressVPN by going to my link in the description and clicking and start your journey to an overall better internet usage experience.